How long have you been flying for? Uh, this will be my uh, 32nd year of flying balloons. And it's also my 32nd year at Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Do you have to take that uh, pilot safety training every year? I do take a seminar every year, but uh, the licensing for a pilot, for a balloon pilot, is just like the licensing for a fixed wing pilot. You have go through a, uh, a written and an oral and a flight test after accomplishing a certain amount of tests that you have to accomplish. And then after that, you uh, every uh, uh, 90 days you have to have a, uh, you have to be up in the air for three takeoffs and landings is is the uh, requirement for staying current with the license. As far as uh, safety seminars go, I usually go to one or two safety seminars a year. So how did you get into uh, flying balloons? I had a couple of friends that were flying balloons, uh, John Washburn and Frank Wechter, and, uh, and this was of course 32 years ago. Uh, they invited me out to crew for them, so I came out and crewed uh, for them for a year or so. And uh, then I decided to get my own license and get my own balloon. And that's what I did. Well, you know, this is, it's called a single burner, but it's actually a redundant burner. There's two ho hose from this tank and one hose from this tank. And there's two blast valves here. So, uh, so it, it all filters into one burner system, one uh, single burner, uh, as opposed to other designs. Uh, you know, if you have two burners, you you have uh, better redundancy, but this is a pretty good uh, system. Yeah. You remember, balloons are all handmade. Uh, every every bit about it, except for the metal, is uh, made by hand. The wicker is uh, hand uh, hand woven. The uh, envelopes are hand sewn. There's a lot of workmanship and a lot of fabric that go into a balloon envelope. This balloon here is 77,000 cubic feet, which is not a large balloon. But that's an awful lot of uh, nylon.